Hello viewers and welcome back to N24 Radio and Television. Today is another day in the history of Gambia uh, for Bob Keita's case who, which has been going on for months now after he has been detained for two years. He was detained due to the um, accuse, accusation of his ex-wife's younger sister who is called Fatumbai who accused him of raped by then. The case has been going on for months now and today is the day that everybody is waiting for which is the DNA test of Bob Ketha, baby Mohammed, the ex-boyfriend, and Seno by herself. After the blood samples have been taken to Ghana for a DNA test, the doctor had flew from Ghana to the Gambia on Monday, which is the 10th of October. And today, the 11th of October, is the day that everybody's been, everybody has been waiting for because it is the day that is said because it is said that it is today that the DNA test results will be revealed inside the courtroom. As you can see right now, Bob Keta is already inside, but the judges are not yet here and the lawyers. So what we all are waiting for is to see whether Bob Keta will be said guilty or will be innocent. This case has caused so many commotions inside the country, so many commotions inside the Gambia, because our females, our young guys have been involved, because it's hard, it, so many people believe that Bob is innocent, that he did not do what he is being accused of. So stay tuned with us. This is N24 Radio and Television, and I am your reporter, Maria Masisa. I'm still optimistic and um, having in mind that um, the results are going to be negative in terms of in regards to Babu Karketa. Um, a little bit disappointed the way the proceedings are going. Because to me, it just looks like a show happening. Apparently, nothing is being um, done um, according to law. The procedures are being um, flaunted, left, right, center. And for me, it's a cause for concern. But um, set and done, we're just waiting for the results. I'm sure when the results are read, we will all be able to go home knowing that Buba Karketa is not the father of this um, late baby. Why are you so optimistic about it? Because I know my brother and he said he, has it, he didn't do it. And I believe in him. So, Linga and Moderator here of Yibu Yago, Amna Ken, Assistant Policy for one and all, Ninga and Momla, Key, Abu, my different country, no more, what head up, and Neko to your man, I'm in the land and all, Lulu Dal. Nekan no more head, Tina Hamna Monica, George, Nana Momu. I don't know if you just want to be a good near, so talk if you know the set and I'm a man, set and show. Melod ni court nga in a court nga nika a high court of a country because normally if you are familiar with high courts everything linked death it's um there are am procedures and rules to guide you and lolo neko de hell so basically nita talk like the death nim ko nihe even though even the state councils are trying to guide and direct him to say okay this is the law this is the procedure why mo mune lo ko nihla mo dep why at the end of the day lolo li ko nihla why ligina important moy results bobu nonu bo xamne mom amu ci contour bindu ko euh te momu ko so li nek fofu lañuy xaar suma gom gom may ne li fa nek moy ne bobu ker keta euh jurut halé bi and euh lolu moy suñ ñaan te moy suñ gom gom te ma yaakar na ne lolu moy am well, Lolo Digala, I mean, last we know, I don't have the Berlin Bolin by hell defense be prosecution being done them back and forth about the rules and learn more what I have. Hamga, why even though Lin Yuan Lolo more what I have, I'm George Bene did it, Manila, Code Fe. Why, ten you know what be fini, but results be new, be expert be new, Muchenja, Namu Hone Lolo more defte, the food Lolo, Lenin La Hone Lamo def, Mom Nim Konehe. Why again, Rek, change your results, but Lin Binda Sakate go no. So lol le ñep di xaar uh, hopefully dinañ ko xam tay o dinañ ko xam elek parce que li wax moy dinañ copy uh, results yi and then you jox ko defense bi ak prosecution bi so both sides of the parties will know maybe in the next 30 minutes or so ñu ngi wor court house bi yeb na amuñ fuñ ko copy so hopefully finally dinañ ko copy then ku nek nga xam lan mo fa nek then su bu ba hejna yenit di ngeen am opportunity pour xam li fa nek te ñep ñuy setan ñep ñuy xaar parce que rew mi yeb fo toge ci code bi ya ngay feel ni ñep nga xaar ñi fi nek ñi fi nekul ñep nga bu ko xam bena ting bobu nonu so hopefully di nañ xam suñu xamé nak then muy lolu rek then sane you are well known uh, when it comes to uh, the case of Bob Keta versus the state can you please tell us what transpired inside there today yeah, actually, like uh, we all know, you know, this is a continuation of where we stopped in the last proceedings or the last session that we have. Uh, Francis Jada, who happens to be uh, 
uh, the person who transported the blood from the Gambia to Ghana, you know, came back and he was actually uh, giving testimony of what transpired and how he get involved in the whole case, uh, leading for him to transport the uh, blood to Ghana and coming back to the Gambia and what we are the process. So he gave us the gist of actually what transpired uh, during his process, the entire process, what actually happens there. So he gave us actually. Uh, all what he encountered that he went to Ghana and this was so that was followed up by a cross examine uh, by the defense council which was a very heated one in regards to you know Francis was just a person who was actually not been privy to any uh, DNA sample collection uh, the extraction of the blood, the custodians of the blood. So he's just a mere person who was just given the blood sample just to transport it into Ghana. So for them, they feel like he's not an expert in this area. He was just given a blood sample that he didn't actually confirm whether it's the blood sample of the accused person and the three persons that are involved because he was asked whether he actually know. He said he only rely on uh, the labeling that was on the uh, uh, the seal uh, uh, that was uh, made there, but that's what he relied on. So like one could have uh, defenses uh, pushing him onto the argument that Somebody can write a label why it's not the uh, blood of the person whose name is actually on the uh, document. So you should confirm before you take a responsibility of uh, which uh, responsibility to take this uh, blood and transport them to Ghana. So this were some of the arguments from the defense camp. And they also question uh, in regards to uh, the whole issue of uh, the extraction of the blood, whether he was actually being present. But what we understand from him that he was only present when they were taking the alleged victim's uh, blood sample and that of the uh, baby Mohammed's uh, sample. But all the three parties that were involved, he was not actually uh, present to collect this blood sample. And also uh, the transportation and the storage was not actually under his custody. He was just calling and they went to the child uh, ward in Banjun here and they tell him this is the blood sample. He just pick it and put it in a cooler and then start a transport them to Ghana. So this way are some of the uh, arguments that the defense council was trying to uh, push him to see that he is not a credible uh, witness uh, to just to uh, make sure that this person doesn't know what actually he was doing. That was the uh, trend that the defense was actually going. So whether he succeeded in that or not, uh, that will be at the tail end of the case when we actually have all the facts before us, then we will know that definitely these are issues that, you know, are uh, before the court. Then they proceeded and we have the expert who actually conducted this whole entire DNA process. And this person was here to give us a how he get involved in the whole case and he gave us that this was an, a letter that was sent to their institution he's a police officer through their inspector general of police that Gambia needed an assistant for them to actually uh, help them in terms of uh, determine uh, a case that is before the state and Buakar Keita and they want a DNA exam uh, test to be conducted in this area and this is how as a lab technician or a, a expert in this area he was uh, consulted to do that and Francis travel from the Gambia then go to Ghana and over the blood sample to him he also do his uh, uh, analysis and come with a resource in regards to this issue and that's how the whole issue came and he was like uh, if we proceeded he would have disclosed to us you know what was the content of the document but this didn't happen because actually there was an argument before the defense counsel and the judge in regards to the uh, foundation that has to be followed before you lay what we call an evidence before the court and he relied on the CPC that's the uh, criminal procedure court section uh, 75 uh, capital C and even he relied on A that you know any document that the defense intent uh, the prosecution intent uh, to uh, table or to use as an evidence in the court the defense must be served and he have made a uh, reference to so many jurisdictions even not only Gambia UK has been made an uh, uh, reference to and also even Ghana uh, has been made an everyday uh, reference to that uh, these are not acceptable and he also made and made a very important legal argument that the prosecution by ambush is no more accepted anywhere you cannot just come and ambush somebody in a court of law normally you brief him that's why uh, councils are writing each other uh, 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 briefing so that you prepare yourself in terms of your defense. What is uh, arguing that could, today what the judge is trying to do is a prosecution by ambush because he cannot have the opportunity to actually cross-examine this expert, you know, because he's not prepared. He never, he was not served to know what was the content of the document so that he will prepare his questions and answers. And actually, uh, before he even start uh, properly laying his argument, the judge said that if he had him, he will overrule him. And we had LSC in that uh, this has to be recorded in terms of a reference in terms of if he has 
have to challenge this in a court of appeal or any upper uh, higher court than the court, the high court of this country, so that he can have it in the record. And MS Jalo was like, the judge was actually, it doesn't worth it for me to do that. But I was arguing uh, based on law that if I listen to, I will use the same provision that you rely on uh, to make this argument to overrule you. But Ellis said, you are preempting because you don't know actually what I want to say. But I'm uh, quoting the constitution of this country that supersedes any laws in this country. So this has been the argument. And Ellis is ready to proceed when he comes tomorrow with his objection in terms of uh, the foundation was not actually laid, the foundation where you can uh, admit an, uh, an evidence before the court. So he's arguing on the, uh, the unadmissible of the evidence that the, uh, the prosecutions want to tender as part of their evidence. And he also argued that there were no uh, notification given to them regarding their half additional uh, witness that will testify in this case. So that means that they were, there was no list provided to them to, uh, to indicate that they want another additional two witness. So these are arguments that LS is making and he's relying on law. So we see what will be the outcome of the judge in terms of ruling uh, his arguments that he is ready to do uh, from here against tomorrow. So, so far this is and we missed the opportunity to know what is the content of the document and hopefully tomorrow will be done because the man has to go back to Ghana on Friday. So hopefully we might get the results uh, tomorrow. When will the court start tomorrow? They said 11 o'clock. We are starting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, viewers, as you can see, the court has been adjourned until tomorrow, inshallah, because it is said that uh, all the witnesses have not been, have not spoke yet, and um, the results have been opened, but it has not been revealed whether the test uh, results is negative or positive. So as for now, we cannot say anything, and we cannot have interview with any other person until tomorrow, inshallah. Let's hear what the judge will say and what the fate of Bob Ketak will be.